most likely I'll finish this tonight. Because episode 2 is probably as long as episode 1 was. Then I'll decide if I want to continue. on me. He's gonna come up this way. That was way too close. Fuck! There's bathospheres, there's bound to be CO2 scrubbers. Why is that? If you don't remove the carbon dioxide from the air supply and it's submersible, it'll suffocate. The one thing I did like about Rapture, lots of new books to read. 
I will need a long haul bathysphere, something where the CO2 buildup would limit the submersible period. That was one close call after another. I don't know if this part's... Uh, if after I get done this, the game could just end after that. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't find that... Um, that radar range weapon. Everything that will happen. And hey, now, Joel. Now I only see darkness. You sent yourself here for a reason. A debt. That's what you want to call it. This Atlas. I'm gonna have to kill him. Either that or he'll kill me. Maybe so. I'm not you, Booker. Some war hero. I'm not even me anymore. No tears, no omniscience, or. Whatever you want to call it. Just a whole lot of book learning. And a handful of lockpicks. There is no way she's killing Atlas. Even if this is not the rapture that we knew from 1 and 2. The fact that Atlas isn't succumbing to the same effects that both Elizabeth and Booker had means that this is not a point in time where he dies. I could be wrong about that, though. Stayed late at work today and have and have to till Thursday. Oh, I. I've been there. Had multiple 12 hour shifts on consecutive days. <clears throat> I take a lot out of you, even if you don't do that much work. They just drain you mentally. Oh, the 52 Mako. Classic. But it's a death drop. 28 known fatalities related to its use. Carbon dioxide poisoning. And they're still on the market. <laughs> Steeply discounted, though. Nothing could happen to my wearing his best scarf today. It's bundled up tight. There it is. There. The stingray. Submersible time of 90 minutes. That's our girl. All the way up there. The grease monkeys had to get it up there somehow. Just gotta find the controls. Might even have to work Saturday. Oh, I just worked this past... I worked two Saturdays in a row. Thankfully, I have off this weekend. Oh. This coming weekend. Closed for you. And 
now. Oh shit. Hey, you I won't roll over! That only seems to be knocking them back. You're only gonna do real damage that way if they don't see you coming. You don't have my permission to leave. He shot me once and took my health away. <laughs> Fuck you. I hit you. Tenenbaum. Sometimes I pity the little freak. Such a tiny imagination. Content to sit there with the tanks of Adam. Hey, CC. I need to create. Adam is a complex. That was bullshit. Modification. But the plasmids are the paint. Like, she charged, like, slightly before me, so it didn't track him. Well, luckily, I don't have too much to recover, actually. Actually, this works a little different. Um, I don't think you actually lose any of your... I don't think you lose any of your money, actually. No. And again, I think that was intentional. Three more. I should wash my hands. <laughs> Cleanliness equals success. Oh, yeah, you know what? I forgot to do something. You're right, I am louder. There we go. I hate it so much. It is so fucking annoying. But the um see when I uh whenever I switch from like my speakers to my headset. Actually, this only seems to happen like the first time I do it like after my computer after I start up my computer. Actually, no, it's it's like kind of random, but it always does it the first time. Um what tends to happen is is that because I disabled the microphone on my uh on my webcam um for some reason whenever I switch my sound card from the speakers to the headset it just shoots my mic volume to 100 and I don't know why So I don't know why it does that. I don't know if it's a sound card Causing it, if it's the webcam itself causing it. Yeah, I turned myself down on the level I typically have it at. It's annoying because I forget sometimes and I'm too loud. Dressing you down. 
down. Far from it. We'll go much further. We will unmake you. So you can... I'm sorry to hear that CC. Uh, what happened? Two more of them. He's gonna want to get this message as soon as he gets back, right? Really? Oh shit! Turned around. If we seek out the fight, perpetual. I think that's everyone in here. I think. No, there's one more guy left. He seems fairly easy. I can just take him out with a trank. Plus, maybe I could just... Radio Raptor. Music for the discerning here. Okay. And now, Wanna hear my latest number? got something very up next. Coming up next. This little lady, who goes by the name of Miss Elizabeth was picked out of the thousands by the maestro himself, Sander Cohen. And when Hello, a golf club. Bird, <laughs> sweet. No. So here's Miss Elizabeth. Another one. You belong to me. I made my quota. Well, we are all, all, all right. I'm the only one this time. That was the golf club that killed Andrew Ryan. I think that's what they were getting at. Got to work late Monday through Thursday. 16 hours of overtime. Shit! <laughs> uh, I think the most that I ever got in a pay week was uh, 10. So, yeah, you have me beat. My blood. Uh, <laughs> my deepest sympathies. <laughs> I think maybe I, I had tw uh, 12 at one point. It's like when a, a bunch of people, like, left. Um, the other place where the corporation owns. Oh, I have exactly three. I have to go in here. Oh, thank God. Start with about two hours sleep, cold fevers, wake up at seven, go to work. I had to carry computers the whole day and get home. Frustrated, I don't go. The friends decide it's time to go. Just be a general. Ugh. I don't do enough homework for school, even though you pressure me. Oh. I haven't had to deal with that, but again, my. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> At least you can sit back, relax, and enjoy a stream. Hopefully without interruption. Of course, the buildings are being fabricated above the waves. But we will lower them on a lunette ring. Submerged oh, that is the voice the actor for Andrew steel Ryan. Frames. So much steel, you wonder. How will we keep so large a purchase from the government? Water is buoyant. We shall not frame Rapture in steel, but in aluminium. 
The government oh. jackals may suspect me of building an air force, but never a city. Ryan, Ryan. It's pronounced aluminum. <laughs> that bothers me. I just don't like the way people pronounce it like that. Oh boy. Jesus Christ. I don't get how he saw me. I know what you need for. Come on, hey. Let's work something out. You're not getting out of this deal out easy. Don't have enough flock picks. He probably hears me because of the water. Ah, oh, Christ, better prep for my next one. Yeah, good luck, uh, good luck, Joel. It's just that guy right now. There's the radar range. on me for now. Ah, come here, baby. I ain't sore. Don't find me so unprepared as Where'd this you one. Oh, fuck me. Wasted way too many crossbow bolts. Way too many crossbow bolts. Uh, I just... Oh good, I can... I can recover a couple of them at least. No, 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 no! Where is it gonna put me now? What makes the girl different? I suspect it has less to do with what she is, and rather more with what she is not. A small part of her remains from where she came. It would seem the universe does not like its peas mixed with its porridge. I would imagine that's the very hard difficulty. 
like the hardest one that you can. Uh, what? Oh, thank fucking god that the. That the fucking, um. Checkpoints in this, uh. In, in this one in particular are actually forgiving. Because that would suck if I would have had to do this whole part over again. We're not finished. I actually have to get on that platform, don't I? Yeah, so I have to jump up on one of these and then jump down. Got it. Just need to find Old Man Winter and we're done. No, it's not the strongest that survives, but the fittest. Those most capable of change. A good start is thinking for yourself. Crap, there's people in here. They're real personal to me. They like to love God, this this one in particular is OP. You don't even need possession. That's sweet. Has more than twenty five armor. Now see, if this were on normal, I'd probably have more of a chance if, um, of fighting them head on without doing too much stealth. But because this is on hard, I pretty much First, can't take a hit. Gets bribery. Then, you'll want some fella in my privy advising how I defecate. What's next? Martial law? seems to be knocking them back. You're only gonna do real damage that way, and they don't see you coming.
We're not finished! Also, even though this only knocks them out, they don't wake up. So, the fact that they say it just knocks them out is a misnomer if you've played other games uh, with stealth mechanics before. Some games, if you knock them out, they're only out temporarily. But in this game, it doesn't matter. Because this is the only... Th this is the only time in Bioshock where they've ever had stealth mechanics, for one thing, and, um... Or at least stealth mechanics like this. So, don't... If you're playing this on your own, even if you play it on hard, even if you probably play it on 1999 mode, um... I'm not sure about 1999 mode, but I know at least on hard difficulty, they don't wake up if you use tranquilizers on them. Remind me, why am I supposed to care? You see, me lads have taken a keen thirst for Adam. And there's a vintage right in front of me that'll do nicely. If you kill her, I truly hope you are happy living down here. Put down roots, raise a family. Or maybe you think Andrew Ryan is going to ride to your rescue. Fair enough. But remember, there are fast ways to harvest little sisters. That's a very slow one. What the hell is that? Oh, gas ammo. This is the only weapon that has different knockout gas. Hey, Junior! Come on in and watch this. All right. <laughs> you pay attention now. That's Andrew Ryan on that screen. The Ryan's got the fuck. Oh! I know what they're trying to do. That takes... Look at what you've done to him. Fair warning. I'm an eye for an eye type of fella. Okay, I like this one. I'm gonna keep the tranquilizer on as default, but if I see there's a group of them, then I'll use the knockout gas. I kinda just wanna finish this at this point. I don't really care too much about finding the, uh... about finding all the secrets. Alright, I gotta run. You can't judge a man only by bookings. There is no excuse for a racket. Come out and show yourself. You're not getting it. <laughs> Thank God this was here. is with these I just saw a fly hit my wall
I don't even know how I managed to accomplish that. <laughs> I gotta be careful, he sounds close. Can't even look because I don't have any Eve anymore. It's a big fucking thing, too. Not Chikata size, but... That fucking fly has a fat ass. It does. That, that's actually pretty damn big for a fly. Yeah? Atlas sent me here for some old man winter. You haven't been around here long, have you? What makes you say that? Because <laughs> eh, you're the only one of us who don't smell like the reptile house at the zoo. Now be quick about it, and just take the winner. This ain't the goodwill. I actually remember th the reason why they don't recognize Atlas as Fontaine. I actually remember it. It's because he doesn't have a... Uh... That is not a fly. Did I get him? Oh, I did get him. He's dead in the corner. Hold on. Alright, now I have no more distractions. Yeah, hold on. Actually, I gotta do one more thing. I have to clean that area because some of his... Some of his wing came off. Fucking hate bugs so much. Even when they're dead, they're a nuisance. Oh shit, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I was like in like I was basically in kill mode. Memo I hope they don't see him. While we deny all customer claims regarding purported burns they have received from quote overheating of 1958 bathyspheres unquote, our marketing team has decided to give away flasks of Old Man Winter as part of a new promotional campaign. There will be no recall of the 58. 
No recall. The good news is it doesn't matter what I do here because the ending is the same. So, uh, so Atlas asked me to figure out where to uh, strike first when we bust out of this place, but, you know, it all depends on when we get out. You know, I mean, November 5th, it's a big founding of Rapture Shindig at uh, Fort Frolic. Valentine's Day, you know, I mean, Arcadia is real popular. Uh, if it's near New Year's Eve, then, hey, we could pop the corks off all the stuffed shirts down at the Kashmir restaurant. Come, brothers and sisters. Did you want to keep climbing Andrew Ryan's ladder? Just to watch him knock it down as you're reaching the top? The cards are stacked. What's a bunch of fine words? If there ain't deeds to back them up. Rapture was supposed to be different. But the only thing that separates it from the slums of New York or Glasgow or about a million gallons of salt water. Ryan sent a clear message when he had Frank Fontaine put down. It's time all you learned your place. I tell you what, Ryan. Message received. <laughs> Loud and clear. And here's what the people of Rapture have to say to you. If you won't give us what we want, we're more than happy to come and take it! I want to see what's available in here before I... Another coded message. Attempt to retrieve Ace in the hole from Su Chong unsuccessful. Ryan Private Security killed three of our men in the bargain. We'll need to explore alternate means of obtaining Ace. Oh, they're using Morse code. I actually didn't realize that last time. I probably missed a couple. I don't really care. Although, who knows, maybe I come, I'll come back and 100% like, these games. Well, 100% meaning everything I need to do that's available in the game, not the achievements. Achievements are a whole nother ball game. Tell Ryan things are getting hot down here real fast. Goddamn leprechaun is building himself a regular army. If you'd ask my opinion, which you didn't, I'd send a crew down here and clean up the place before they show up on your doorstep. But who am I except some undercover schmuck you sent to give you straight dope? Yeah, this is very close to the start of the first game. The start of the first game, I think, is... It's not Christmas. Uh, but it's right at the end of December. 1958. Freeze your enemies. Shatter them into a thousand pieces. Just what we need. That was the last one. Now you think you can manage the repair? Who the hell are you? Fixing quantum field generators. Hello. Oh. Come. Oh. Physically. You won't find me so unprepared as this one. Get out here. Your supper's getting cold. If that's what they call it. 
a fellow who's prosperous. Can't see me through the door, I hope. Good. So what direction? I have to go in the direction he's walking in. How about we don't? You got the noisemaker. That could be used as a distraction. I do have also have the gas bow ammo, so. I don't know if this is the end of this or not. So, what do I have to do exactly? It says repair the device, but... Oh, insert there. Now we won't immediately die of CO2 poisoning the moment we turn the thing on. That's one. Well, not the perfect phosphor frequency, but it'll do. Out of Eve. Su Chung must have a supply stashed here somewhere. Oh, there we go. I'm only assuming that I use Old Man Winter on that thing. Okay, that yeah. should stop it from overheating. There, everything's fixed. We're ready. Let's fire it up and see. If I did everything correctly, all that's left should be pulling the lever at the front of the device. Oh, here it is. Up and running. I did not know that in this episode we actually go back to Columbia. <laughs> Booker, look, we're on the first lady. Retrieve the quantum particle. I guess they won't let me get back into that. It can't be this easy. The First Lady Mark II was built around a particle lift system just like all the buildings in the city. I read all about it in the Columbian Scientific. The particle seated at the top of the structure. Must be up that lift.
perfect. It's like a lot of technology just to float an airship. Comstock never heard of hydrogen. The First Lady Mark I did run on hydrogen, and it was destroyed by a single bullet from a Vox sniper. Unfortunately, the Prophet wasn't on board at the time. Yeah, keep it on Noisemaker for right now. Because they haven't de-equipped our weapons, so... If I take the active particle, then the First Lady is just a 40-ton paperweight. Best to take the spare. Here we go. Now let's head back through that tear. They expect Atlas to honor his side of the deal. No, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. How do you plan on handling Atlas? He ain't just some spliced up maniac. He'll make a mistake. I just have to be ready to take advantage of it when it happens. All for a girl you barely know. How well did you know me when you came to Columbia? Fair enough. Nothing but trouble that way. Best to head straight back to Rapture. I'm assuming that this part was before we got on the airship and before Elizabeth changed into this outfit because it's right here. Pretty lady not finished yet. What? Open the tear. Power for device, very expensive. Need for that. Just tell me what you want. So Jomo wants something as simple. Lock of hair. Oh, you're not serious. Not your hair, stupid! Think Hodge's cigarette light. Mothballed, forgotten. In there, hair sample. In jar. Cannot miss it. You get for Sutra. Then everybody friends. Where is his lab? Closed off past things quarters and you smart lady, you find. Gee, thanks. Seen that one coming. So I guess I do have to go this way. Vox Populi. We must have arrived right in the middle of the siege. That means the other you and I are probably inside the factory. On our way up to the first lady. And what happens if we run into ourselves? We won't. How do you know that? Because we didn't. Press to generate a bullet snatching shield that places ammo into your gun. Wait, what does this do? I need to see that again. Oh yeah, that's right, it doesn't tell you what they do. And this is technically a Saul, that's not Eve. Because we're back in Colombia. Unless, uh... Oh wait, it could still be Eve. Suchan could have probably brought it with him when he came through. service, but I will not hurt the boy. I will see Fink and Comstock burn, but I will not hold the son to account for the deeds of his father. You've misunderstood us. We neither asked you to harm the child. Nor did we promise that yours would be the hand that would set Comstock's world afire. A famous man once said. And a famous man shall say. I may reach the mountaintop. But I fear I shall never visit the valley below. But you mean I won't live to see the... 
No. It's up to you what matters more. Your part in the play? Or the play itself. Someone is coming. She'll arrive a girl. She must leave a woman. And what makes the difference between a girl and a woman? Blood. Your part in the play? Or the play itself. Turn her into a killer? How? Give the girl no choice. And she will be forced to make one. So the Lutess has manipulated that part <laughs> where she stabs Daisy Fitzroy in the back because she thinks she's going to kill the child. So it wasn't the fact that Fitzroy... Yeah, it's weird. It seems like... So they made Fit for out to be not as, not any different than Comstock, but the Lutessa has actually kind of forced her hand into it. All to manipulate these events. I'm not sure how I feel about that. But you never really knew what the Lutessa's motivations were, even from the main game. Even ending the main game. You still don't know what their real motivations are. The only thing I can think of is they obviously can manipulate terrors as well as Elizabeth can, and they've obviously never died uh, because they still have that power. We've just seen that Elizabeth lost her power to manipulate terrors when she died in a reality before her time. It's actually kind of leading me to believe that... Um, the lore in the story is that everyone has the ability to manipulate tears unless there is unless one of them in one of the dimensions uh, dies before they have the ability to use it since probably 99% of people have probably had a reality where they die during childbirth that's why so few people have the ability to manipulate tears naturally. I actually kind of thought that the reason why Elizabeth could manipulate tears was because she lost her pinky. And so, like, some DNA, like, like that ability, like, had gotten into her genetically. Like, it went into her DNA because of the fact that she physically touched the end of a tear, but I'm actually starting to think that's not the reason anymore. Because I thought because she got her pinky back after she died in a reality that that would be the case, but I actually don't think so. I think anyone could probably have the ability to cause tears naturally if it wasn't for... unless you die in a certain reality. But wait, no. Even that doesn't make sense either. Because there was a reality where Elizabeth died because she got decapitated by that poor, uh... So... That could be a plot hole. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past them. When it comes to time travel and... When it comes to the... Bending the will of space and time... You can... It is very hard not to have some sort of plot hole. I mean, even Back to the Future had it, and I like that movie. 